Yes, thank you very much, Alvis. Now, as we know, family time is very important. But in today's fast-paced world, finding the time to switch off and just be with your family may be a challenge. But one father and his daughters are making this change. They started a bucket list a year ago. Well, the father-daughter trio are back in business with their next big task, doing, doing their bit through art to help save the rhino and assist abused women and children. Now, joining us from our Seapoint studio is Johan Oosthuizen and co-coordinator of their art auction, Gerd Lowe. Um, unfortunately, his daughters couldn't be, uh, couldn't be with us today. They're writing exams. But a very good morning to the both of you. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you that we can be here. Um, Johan, if I can just start with you. Um, last time you were here, you were telling us about your bucket list challenges. Um, how is this going? Good morning. Thank you. Yeah, we, we've been going very well. I'm so sorry my daughters can't be here. And uh, although they're busy with tests and with exams, but uh, we're going very well with the bucket list. Uh, we have done since the last time we've been here, we've done a family painting where each, each person did... Uh, Paint, did a painting of six dogs, each person did two dogs. And uh, we also have a cross, which is very interesting. I've had a cross, we, we, we painted the, the way the disciples died. And uh, on, that, on that cross, we, we, had, we put small little wooden crosses as the miracles take place in our, life, our lives. And we had a, a, a tremendous time when, when we were sitting at, at the McDonald's having hamburgers. And uh, there was about 200, 400 um, doves flying right over us and my daughter, eldest daughter, held my youngest daughter in my arm and she said, Holy Spirit, flow into us. And then uh, a crow flew into the, 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 the swallows and they drove the crow out. And uh, the, my eldest daughter said, the dove must just fly over us now. And, and it did happen, the dove flew over us and then my youngest jumped up and said, I must go and baptize them. So I had the privilege of baptizing both my daughters, which was actually a wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. And then the... the, the, the the situation we had with the doves, uh, we, we are home two doves at my place, my daughter's home two doves at her place. And when I fetch her on weekends, we change the doves around and fly them with messages on their legs back to each other, which is something we're doing, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, we're busy organizing and we do have an auction on the 29th of October at Millerton Golf Course, which is uh, wonderful. I'm going to, for the first time, a father and his two daughters will market art and auction and sell art at the same um, event, which I'm looking forward to. And I've got with me Gerda Lowe, who, who is also with us an artist, and she is um, supporting a cause of uh, abused children and abused women. And she would like to say something on, on that and we'll do before we carry on. Thank you. Yes, uh, Gerda, why did you decide to get involved um, with Johanna and his daughters and this art auction? Uh, well, I've known Johan for quite a while, so when he came to me and said, uh, am I interested in having this auction with him and for other artists, I was, of course, interested. And uh, when we decided we'll uh, give a percentage of um, uh, what we get to um, a charity of our choice, that was, of course, I loved the idea. And um, sport, my art is all about women. My paintings are mostly about women or daughters, you know, young girls, sometimes boys, but mostly women and children. And um, so I uh, approached a friend of mine who is very involved with uh, women against rape uh, because I thought I would let the proceeds go to them. But then she, she told me about a safe house in Parklands who is really in need of funds. Um, there are eight children um, that come from really uh, situations where they were really abused uh, sexually also and um, they they don't have any other income um, the woman who runs the house um, is a psychologist who gave up her job to look after these eight children uh, she worked overseas for 20 years and now she's back here and for i think it's eight years that she's been running this so the proceeds will go to them and i hope it will make a difference no. as art mm. must always make a difference now, when is this auction taking place and what are you hoping to achieve from this? And can you maybe give us an estimate of how much um, profit you're expected to make to donate? Well, the auction is on the 29th of October um, at Milneton Golf Course. There will be, um, each artist will have eight uh, art pieces. So it can go, you know, the, the paintings will probably, the smallest paintings will go for anything from 5,000 to 50,000. So we can't really say, it depends on who pitch up and 
who is inspired to buy the art on that day. Mm -hmm. um, Johan, if I can just go back to you. Now, painting for a profit, um, why did you decide to go this way um, to, to get profits and to donate to special causes? Well, it's always nice, you know, when you do art to, to, to donate to some cause. What we, the other cause we actually supporting is the Rhino, the Rhino okay. cause for, for um, and we also have I'll, I'll Be Your Voice for the Rhinos, which is done by Roseanne Fasaki, who is supporting the Rhino cause. And uh, I would like the people to, to really uh, come out and, and, and support this cause because of, of rhinos. In 1900, there was 500,000 rhinos in Africa. At the moment, in our recent years, there's only 20,000 rhinos in, in, in uh, South Africa, 18,000 in South Africa and 2,000 in Africa. So there's definitely trouble with the rhinos. And we, a lot of our art is wildlife art. We've got uh, Debbie Lassier, who's a, uh, one of the artists who, who, who also exhibited at the World uh, um, Wildlife Artist Exhibition in London and in Japan. Um, I myself have been all over the world. I've painted and sold art on every continent. In